Now at noon, a Texas judge was shot multiple times in front of her home back in 2015. In an all new 48 hours, she's sharing her real life story of survival. 48 hours correspondent Jim Axelrod joins us live now from New York with a preview. And Jim, who shot the judge? What can you tell us about this case? Well, if you ask the judge, it wasn't somebody that she would have put on her own short list of people who had appeared in front of her and might have had a grudge. In fact, it was somebody who had been in her courtroom, but she hadn't even sent him to prison, hadn't sent him to jail. All she had done was place him on parole, and that was just for a credit card fraud charge. So not someone who would have been the first suspect in the judge's mind after the shooting. And Jim, was there any warning of a threat against the judge? Well, this is one of the more interesting parts of the live to tell that we will tell tomorrow night on 48 hours. There had been, there had been a tip mm -hmm. sent to the local district attorney saying somebody was going to target a judge. The tip was investigated and it was deemed not to be credible. So the judge was never warned, something the judge has made a, a certain part of her recovery to press for changes in the Texas law and change the way judges' safety is secured. Jim, we know, thankfully, this is a story of survival, but what can you tell us for the extent of her injuries? Well, it was a brutal shooting. Bullets that actually uh, sort of exploded upon the, uh, touching the flesh fragments throughout her body. Uh, she had skin grafts. She had a very serious infection. She had a finger amputated. Those are just the physical scars. Psychologically, you can imagine the trauma. She was shot in front of her 15-year-old son in her own driveway. It is a moving, compelling, sometimes stunning hour of television on 48 Hours tomorrow night. Wow, pretty incredible, Jim. Thank you so much.